Well, today I'd like to talk a little bit about a development that I really think is double plus ungood. I, I don't know if you remember Newspeak from 1984. It was a fictional language that Orwell basically came up with to show how governmental interference with the specific banning of words, the unofficial influencing of speech designed basically to control thought, designed to get people to think in a certain way, how it was permeating totalitarian regimes around the world. And it was a warning, of course, to the rest of us. I look at what is happening right now, not just in our society, but honestly, really in, in virtually every society around the world, is a drift toward newspeak. I mean, you hear people talk about the feels, right? You know, that actually was one of the, the words. It was called belly feel, blind, enthusiastic acceptance of an idea. So basically, you know, we've all got the feels in the sense that we've become to engage in doublethink. All the time we've got the newspeak going on. And a university in England now has officially banned a whole bunch of words, 34 words, because they want to promote an inclusive environment. Everything like a gentleman's agreement, that, that, that phrase is no longer allowed. You can't use that phrase. I, I mean, right-hand man, that's another one. Uh, this person here, he's my right-hand man. No, you can't say that because they have to have these gender-neutral terms for this inclusive environment that they're trying to come up with. Now, obviously, some folks have criticized them for cracking down on free speech, but then they turn around and they engage in double think by saying, no, no, really what we're trying to do is to protect free speech. No, you're not. And, and the more that we engage in this double think and this new speak ourselves, the more that we start using these government chosen words to express ourselves, the more that we refrain from using the real word for something and instead use a word that other people aren't going to be offended by. The more we are submitting ourselves to someone else's control. And look, if you want to submit yourself to someone's control, that's fine. You know, whatever floats your boat, it's not my deal. But when you start forcing other people to submit to someone, it's a big difference. All right. It's a big difference between somebody who's into something a little, well, let's just say questionable, you know, kinky, whatever versus somebody who goes out and enforces it on somebody else. The fact that we're doing this with language, it's only a step away from doing it with everything else in society. And in fact, that's really one of the main ways that the government in 1984 kept its citizens in control in Oceania. Do you remember? that The whole point of what Winston was doing, going and rewriting the history, going and rewriting the news reports so that it reflected the double-plus ungood instead of the bad, bad reports. You understand what I'm saying, right? When you see universities banning phrases, when you see governments stepping in and, quote, encouraging certain kinds of inclusivity or specific uses of language, this is where we find ourselves, especially when people are voluntarily censoring themselves because they're afraid of offending. Look, you're not going to offend me. I'm unoffendable. There's a book about that, and it's something really that I think we all want to consider at some point in our lives. Do you have a right to be offended, or can you choose to be unoffendable and stop all this nonsense? Anyway, I, I just I was looking at some of these newspeak words and the thought crime in, 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 that's involved in it, uh, the, the telescreen, verify, misprints, Old speak, old think, porno sec, prola feed, rec depth. I, I mean, the, some of these things we're actually using these words. I'm horrified. I, I mean, I really, I please use the right word for something and stop worrying about offending people because you know what? Those who are offended by the truth need to get out of the way of the truth. That's my two cents. I'd love to engage you on this or any other topic. Send me an email, steve at radiofreespeech.com. If you like what I'm doing, please support me at Patreon or by buying a subscription directly at radiofreespeech.com. Thanks.